with white trim, weighing 159 and three quarter pounds, from Suitland, Maryland, with a record of three, one, and one, Osley Sensational Silas. And in the blue corner, wearing the blue trunks with white trim, weighing 157 and three quarter pounds, from the Bronx in New York, undefeated with a record of 4-0-3 by knockout, ladies and gentlemen, Iran Barkley. Okay, you both know the rules of New Jersey State Athletic Commission, and I'm here to enforce them. When I say break, I want you both to break clean. If there's a knockdown, the fighter scoring the knockdown must go to the farthest neutral corner, and you stay there until I signal you out. The fighter going down must take the mandatory A count. The three knockdown rule has been waived in this state. I want you to watch your low punches, your kidney punches, and your rabbit punches. I don't want any fouling or any rough tackles. That understood? I can't shake hands out fighting at the belt. And so these middleweights scheduled for six, Osley Silas in the red trunks from Suitland, Maryland, from the Bronx, New York, Iran Barkley, run away. Here in New Jersey, they'll score it on the round system, supplemental five point in the event of a uh, deadlocking round to, to decide who wins it. A couple of tall middleweights, Osley Silas in the red, who's three, one, and one. Iran Barkley in the blue, who's 4-0 with three knockouts. You may have uh, seen Barkley before here on ESPN. He's a fighter we've showcased a couple of times, and uh, what you've seen, if you've seen him, is he has a good left jab, a good straight right hand, but he has a few defensive deficiencies that he is still trying to work out. He's been down on the canvas a couple of times in his young pro career, so um, some questions about his chin and his defense, but he's a good puncher. Barkley and Osley met when they were amateurs during AAU competition, and uh, Barkley scored a uh, three-round decision. Barkley, as an amateur, was 30 and four. He was the 1982 bronze medalist in the World Games in Munich, Germany. I ran Barkley in the blue trunks. There you see that jab already from Barkley. It's a good one. It used to be compared favorably to his New York teammate, uh, Mark Breland, who, of course, is one of the finest amateur welterweights, maybe the best amateur welterweight in the world. Barkley, who's from the Bronx, is also a stable mate of uh, the uh, junior middleweight champion, Davey Moore, who's also from the Bronx. We're halfway through the opening round. Good left hook by Silas in the red trunk. And it came as Barkley was leaning in with the right hand. So there you see some of those defensive problems that I alluded to. Barkley working the jab very well here in the opening round. Less than a minute to go in round one. Joe Cortez, the referee, taking a stroll during this bout. Very few clinches, if any. A lot of head movement from uh, Silas as he avoids those jabs from Barkley. Right hand by Silas, and back comes Barkley. <laughs> left to the body by Barkley, left to the head by Silas. Joe Cortez warns Barkley about the blow being too low. Final seconds opening round, and this looks like a good one. Right hand lead by Silas, right on the chin of Barkley. Barkley comes back with a sharp jab. Countering right hand by Silas on the head of Barkley. So a first round of action. Would you like a treat? We'll be back for round two. Put together that count those combinations that we've seen him use before. I gave the first round to Barkley by a very narrow margin. Silas here with a countering right hand. Back comes Barkley with a left hook. Barkley missed with that right hand as uh, Silas dipped down. They fight each other like they're familiar with each other's styles, that's for sure. We mentioned earlier they fought as amateurs. They do indeed, and they're almost mere images of each other in the ring. They fight with the same kind of style, and so uh, th they should understand each other's style very well. They both use the jab, the straight right hand. Neither goes to the body too often. 
Gonzalez with a countering uh, right hand, but it was a glancing blow on Barkley's head. And neither fighter yet has totally established the left jab. And I think the first fighter that does that in this sixth rounder will be the one that really takes control. Right hand by Barkley, and that draws an ooh from the crowd and a uh, look of pain on the face of Osley Silas. Left hand by Silas. He's got a real sweet left hook. Halfway through round two. And I think before this fight is over, one of these fighters will be down from a straight right hand because those rights are coming fast and furious. Some are missing by an eyelash and some are landing. Barkley was out of position after throwing a left hook that missed, but Silas couldn't take advantage. And now Silas connects with the right hand as the pace slows up. For the first uh, round and halfway through uh, this round, it's pretty quick. Good countering left hand by Silas again. And Silas is starting to get the jab on track, and that's what is making those lead rights that he's throwing uh, pretty effective. Moments ago, Barkley scored with a lead right hand. Both fighters bobbing and weaving, looking for an opening. We've had uh, more action here in uh, two rounds. We've had in a lot of fights recently. It's good to see that also. Right hand by Silas over a lazy left to Barkley. Now, if you're judging at home, this round's going to test your pencil. A whack of a left hand by Barkley to the side of Silas. Silas hitting the chest of Barkley. We're heading down the stretch of round two. We'll be back here in Atlantic City after this timeout. Round three for middleweights, Iran Barkley in the blue, Osley Silas in the red. Over the first two, it has been a very competitive match. Left hand by Silas. Now, Silas has got a wide arcing left hook. It seems like a natural a blow for him. It's a big part of his arsenal, and the challenge for Barkley is to counter that shot. And with his straight right hand, Barkley should be able to do just that. Barkley himself landed a left hook just a moment or two ago. Both these fighters, I think, tend to throw that punch a little too much with their arms, not getting their body into it as much as they might. Silas just scored with the left hook again. Both fighters a little more flat-footed here in the third round. Can't blame them. The first six minutes, were, most of them were pretty quick. <laughs> Barkley, perhaps the difference is that Barkley's punching in combination a little bit more than Silas. Silas not throwing as many combos. There was a good right hand by Silas. Both fighters head-hunting here. Very little body work. We're halfway through round three. Odd to see Silas, who is even taller than Barkley, who's a tall fighter, ducking underneath those punches. You'd think he'd be moving, slipping them sideways. Barkley with a left to the body and a right to the head. And Barkley again goes to the body. Scores with a right to the head and a left to the head. Silas suddenly getting lackluster here. There's a right hand from Silas, otherwise nothing much. Right hand by Barkley in the final minute of round three. And Iran Barkley's doing what he's done in other fights. He's getting a little too wild and pressing the advantage a little too much, and he nearly walked into some big counter shots. That may be a factor in the future. That right uppercut off the shoulder of uh, Barkley, but not that right hand. And then Barkley sends uh, Silas back to the ropes. Countering right hand by Silas. Left hand by Barkley, right hand by Silas. They're flat-footed and toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Left hand and a right hand by Barkley. Silas coming back with an occasional punch, but Barkley's pressing the attack here. He bangs Silas with three straight left hooks and then a right hand. Silas comes back with a right hand. We're heading down the stretch of round number three, and they're tattooing each other. Barkley backs up Silas with a left hook to the head. 
tremendous second round for these two fighters, and it does something we don't often see. It brought this crowd, crowd to its feet here at the Sands, and you'll get a chance to... And let's see if we can hear what they're saying in Barclays Corner. Don't we... drop too much water. Yeah. How you feel, man? Put the best one on it. All right. Put the best one on your body now. Best one on your body. Best one on your top. Body top. You understand? Body now. Keep your eyes on him. Now is the time you got to be extra, extra sharp, and you have to be more alert in these spots now. You understand? Okay, okay. Think. Pull back when you have to. Okay. Think. All right, baby. Relax, we were in the corner of Iran Barkley. That last minute of round three was sensational. Here's some of it in slow motion with Barkley doing most of the banging. Silas coming back with occasional responses, but uh, Barkley was clearly the aggressor and the scorer. This is some of the action just before the bell. Three straight left hooks to the head by Barkley and a countering left hand by Silas before Barkley banged him again. Back live for round four. And one very telling thing, I think, in those replays were that how open Barkley was when he was attacking. And that is something uh, Salas took advantage of only on a few occasions to land counter punches, but he was too busy defending himself. We're in the fourth round of a scheduled six rounder. Al, how do you have the first three? I have uh, two rounds for Barkley and one even, so I've got him uh, substantially ahead at this point. It's only a six rounder. Well, Barkley again is pressing Silas. Silas did score with a big right uppercut, and he just did it again. Now, the first two rounds were pretty close, even though uh, I thought Barkley did well in the first and the second was even. So Silas is not out of this fight in terms of a decision by any means, but he can't keep absorbing the kind of punishment he did in round three, that's for sure. No knockdowns, no cuts, lots of action. Neither man has been able to crack the will of the other. And there you saw the wildness of Barkley. That's something his corner was cautioning about him about in between rounds, and that is what they want to see him stop doing. He's got to be more uh, disciplined when he attacks when he's got the other fighter in trouble. Once again, they're flat-footed in the center of the ring. The pace is slowed down. Right hand by Silas, countering shot. Barkley gives him uh, a little bit of a uh, song and dance to show he's not hurt and bangs him three times with the left hand to the head. We're halfway through round four. Well, he may have mugged, but he is wide open for the right hand, Iran Barkley. I guess Silas didn't hurt him with that one, but you never know about the future. Iran Barkley in the blue, Osley Silas in the red. A couple of young middleweights. Barkley from the Bronx, 4-0 with three knockouts. Silas from Suitland, Maryland, 3-1-1 with no knockouts to his credit. We're in the final minute of round four. Right hand by Silas. Right uppercut by Silas. That snapped ahead of Barkley. Barkley leaning a bit now. And Barkley's got a vicious cut in his left eyebrow. Check out his right eyebrow. And that was courtesy of a left hook that landed just a few moments ago. I, oh my, they're gonna have to work on that cut. But still in the neutral corner, countering right hand by Silas with seconds to go. A three-punch combination by Silas. Barkley is really slowed up here, and he's on the take with the final seconds of round four. <laughs> Osley Silas in the red trunks comes out for round five against Iran Barkley. It's scheduled for six. The last minute of round three was torrid. The last minute of round four, uh, quite eventful because a cut was open on the right eyebrow of Barkley. They worked on it between rounds. Silas scoring here with the right hand, obviously trying now to work on that cut. And you can almost see the renewed confidence that Silas has as he headed into this fifth round. And uh, I gave him the last round, so I've got him behind two, one, and one. That's unofficial, of course, and uh, the judges may be seeing it differently. This could be a very, very close fight. been an excellent matchup from the start. Remember that in amateur competition, uh, Barkley scored a three-round decision over uh, his opponent. Now 
Now, this time around, as professional, Silas holding himself pretty well against Barkley. Right hand by Silas. And there's a right that was just short. Silas setting it up pretty well with the jab. And uh, if he can land one of those, they put himself back in business. Remember that uh, Silas's uh, best damage was done by uppercuts, especially in uh, near the end of round four. There's another uppercut by Silas. We're halfway through the fifth round. And Silas with a left-right combination to the head of Barkley. That cut has not reopened. But I ran Barkley punching much less than he has in the earlier rounds. Silas digging in now, throwing heavier shots. Just a glancing blow by Barkley with the left hand. Right hand lead by Silas. Barkley in the blue is especially so slowed down here. He is not as elusive as he was earlier in the fight. And not throwing nearly as many punches. He was very active in the first three, uh, three and a half rounds. Not so now. Left-right combination by Silas. And the last right hand uh, did something to the left eye of Barkley. He's having vision problems now, I believe. The cut over the right eye has just reopened. There's a small amount of blood coming out. But that's not the major problem right now for Iran Barkley. Quick hitting Osley Silas is the big problem. Silas backs him up with the right hand. Seconds to go in the next to last round. I don't think any of those right hands have hurt uh, Barkley, but he's getting hit with a lot more than he was early. Coming up, the sixth and final round. It may decide this fight. We'll be right back. The sixth and final round for middleweights, Iran Barkley in the blue, Osley Silas in the red. Between rounds, our cameras and microphones are in the corner of Osley Silas. Let's listen in and find out what they told him. So you want to make sure you win this round. You, you can win the round with jazz. You understand what I'm saying? Final round. Listen, listen, listen. I want you to jab. You to follow your jab. The three jabs. Your uppercuts in your hook. You're catching them with your hooks. You don't want to wait on your hooks, all right? Here you go, man. Your uppercuts, okay? Al, your unofficial view of going into the sixth round. Well, this fight can't be any more even uh, as I see it. Two, two, and one. And uh, I would think the judges have got to have it pretty close to that. Two right uppercuts by Silas in the last exchange. Remember, Barkley fighting with a cut on his right eyebrow. It is not reopened. Right hand by Barkley. Silas coming out strong in the last two rounds. Round three was terrific, so was round four. That cut of the right eyebrow occurred in round four. And they told Silas, as you heard, to use that jab. He started out that way in this first uh, part of this round. He's abandoned it now. Right hand by Silas. Barkley takes another right hand from Silas. And Silas has done a pretty good defensive job of blocking a lot of Barkley's punches, especially in the last three rounds. There you see him slipping one. And those are the, the subtleties that are missed five row, fifth row and back. That's true. People may think those punches are landing. At home, though, you can see that uh, Silas is doing an effective job of blocking those. We're halfway through the last round. Barkley's trying to be aggressive here, Sal, but he doesn't have much left. A big right by Silas. That last right hand by Silas was his best shot. Barkley took it, seems to be okay. There's no question that Iran has really slowed down here and may be in danger of losing his first fight as a professional. Less than a minute to go on the fight. They've done a wonderful job on the cut of the right eyebrow of Iran Barkley. It is not a factor. Barkley is game, and he is trying very hard, but he is leaving himself open for counter shots, and Silas is happy to oblige, and that has been the story of this sixth round. Both fighters well prepared for this sixth round, and it's been action from the opening bell. Silas with a right uppercut. Back comes Barkley with a left hook. Back comes Silas with a left right, so they keep answering each other. And I think it will take a rush by Iran Barkley to steal this round and I think the fight. Wonderful six rounder. This will not end in a knockout. And this crowd will be appreciative of the efforts of Iran Barkley and Osley Silas.
as you look at Iran Barkley, I am sure, and there is uh, Osley Silas, I'm sure that Barkley, who, who has tremendous amateur credentials and who they are obviously grooming as a possible contender, did not expect this tough a match from Silas, even though, as you pointed out, he had to go three to beat him uh, in the amateurs. Take a look at some action from that uh, last round. The Silas in the red. And he can bring that right hand. That was his best punch of the fight, I do believe. And uh, to show you how well Barkley took it, he came back with a punch. He didn't uh, miss. He didn't connect. But the uh, point of the matter is he wasn't floored by the shot. Now, remember here in New Jersey, they score by the round system. In the event of a deadlock in rounds, they go to a supplemental five-point must system. Al, your unofficial tally. Well, at the end of three rounds, I had a two for Barkley, one even. To show you what a comeback Silas made, I gave him all three of the last rounds, and I have him winning three, two, and one. And uh, I'll be very curious to see how the judges look at this one. Our opening uh, fight between a couple of middleweights, a treat, no doubt about that. We're waiting for the uh, official cards to be read by the ring announcer, Michael Buffer. He has them, and we're set to go. Now, boxing fans, the winner of this exciting middleweight contest by unanimous decision, Oxley Sensational Silence. 